Imagine a society where everything you do, everything you say, and everything you buy is controlled and evaluated by the authorities. It's not science fiction. In China, it's a reality. From now on, citizens' lives are rated and assessed. This is what the Chinese Communist Party calls social credit. Here's our chart of excellence models. I'm the second one. In Fulushan, the villages have been rated for a year. There are good citizens who contribute to the community and bad ones, those who, for example, leave their trash out. Chong Kejong is featured on the Wall of Honor because of his exemplary behavior. It's because I help to keep the village clean. I also help people improve our environment and I help people become wealthier. I'm proud, but it's also a lot of pressure because when you're on this wall, you always want to be better. <laughs> the social credit rating system began testing five years ago in approximately 30 Chinese cities. It will be rolled out across the entire country by 2020. Good citizens will benefit from discounts on their bills and will be able to get bank loans more easily. Bad citizens will be banned from buying train or plane tickets. For the Communist Party, this system is a way to punish and exclude those they judge to be disturbing the harmony of Chinese society. By using the mechanism of social credit, we'll be able to establish a blacklist of people and create a system of punishment that will be based on a scientific theory. These punishments will serve as a whip to rebuild moral values. Our society needs it. Located halfway between Beijing and Shanghai, Rongcheng was one of the first cities to implement social credit in 2013. In the streets, portraits of its best citizens are displayed on posters, like this soldier who saved two people from drowning. This system of social credit influences us and it also encourages us to not engage in bad behavior. For example, when we drive, we let pedestrians cross, and when we queue to get on the bus, we don't jump the queue. It seems those who have good marks get discounts on their bills. In this building, the officials of Rongcheng assign a rating to its inhabitants. We were able to sneak inside and film discreetly for a few minutes. Here, the agents collect data provided by the police, courts and tax office. Each resident is then given a rating from the letter D for not-so-good citizens to triple A for the best. This also applies to companies. This woman has just obtained the maximum score for her architecture firm. These are my company records. When I need to respond to calls for tenders, it proves that my company is well rated. The higher the A rating is, the more reliable the company. It's a score obtained by all means. The company must not have conducted illegal actions and pay taxes accordingly. Reward good citizens and punish bad people. Human rights activist Hu Jia is already blacklisted. Deprived of his passport for 10 years, his movements are limited. He says the social credit system will allow authorities to more easily punish those who do not pledge allegiance to the party. In China, the people who will lose the most credit are those who do not agree with the Communist Party. We can't criticize society or the current system, nor should we say bad things about the highest levels of power and the leader. In fact, this social harmony desired by the party is set to maintain the stability of society, but it only serves to guarantee the monopoly of its power. For China's population, Already scrutinized by the country's 170 million surveillance cameras, the social credit system only signals a further decline in freedom.